just uh, well, I mean, they don't really need to lock, right? So they might still change their mind and pick another sieve. It's best of one, by the way. So uh, they really have to make sure they like their stabilization pick because, uh, well, if you lose, you're out of Tony already here. Um, then again, we expect a quite one sided game, probably. Jerry Muno being a colonel and Wano a first lieutenant. But we'll see what uh, Wano can, uh, can bring us. Uh, and uh, yeah, we're going into game one and, uh, well, last game as well, I guess. I really hope my UI is in order. Uh, it should be It should be already included in EP now. Oh, I okay. didn't well, the, I, I haven't try installed 100%, it, but I might be on maximized UI. I'm not. OK. It doesn't matter. I think it's supposed to switch to minimized UI automatically oh, really? and, co and come back to max UI uh, after that when it's not observer mode anymore. Yeah, they did a really, really nice job uh, implementing that. So now you, you don't have to bother like checking anything. You just create up and it should be done for you. So it's pretty nice. Really cool. Yeah, definitely. Oh, yeah, you have diplomacy now, of course, and then the new EP. <laughs> nice. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> we do have in the top right of Bengal in the color red as the Japanese, Jerry Muno. His opponent in the top left side of the map in the color blue, also as Japan, Warno. I'm not too familiar with Warno, but I have seen Jerry Muno play quite often. Do you know uh, uh, something about Warno? Uh, Warno's been around um, for quite a while. He's uh, on Isak as well in the forums. I, if I remember correctly, he's Canadian. So, like, there's not a ton of Canadians in the community. I just know Maito and Warno, basically. So, <laughs> he's, I, I guess he's the second best Canadian player in the world. So, that's pretty good. Uh, and uh, but uh, but he's he's not. I don't think he plays a ton or something. He's been staying around first Vietnam level for quite a while. Um, but yeah, he's surely a very nice guy. And uh, well, Jerry Muno is a bit more famous probably because he's uh, not quite top player, but he's close to to the best level, let's say. Yeah. Um. Anyway, I guess we should probably go in the game because we have only one of them. So, uh, Jerry Muno picked up a 50 wood directly in his base, which is going to help him a lot to get his uh, first shrine since he went for the Portuguese consulate. While uh, Wano had to chop the entire 100 wood, I believe. 102 wood, in fact, on EP. Yeah, and this is a awkward map to shrine sometimes, of course, because of this swampy area. And uh, because yeah. of how the map is laid out, I'm pretty sure there will be a lot of contention for these shrines as well, I would assume, right? Yeah, most likely. Uh, I don't think the swamps are too big of an issue on, on this map, because they are really small swamps, and I think you should always pretty much be able to shrine next to the swamp, and the animals should be attracted towards the shrine. Ooh, it's not like, you know, here. you know, you know me 100 food. Oh. Oh that's, yeah, that's that's really big in the Japan mirror. It allows you to age up so quickly if you get a big food treasure like that. Just look at the food count. Like, yeah. sure, Wano got one more village in queue, but still, there's like 200 food difference already. 100 food from from the treasure and another 100 food because Jerimino didn't have to chop that much for his shrine, so he's gonna be aging up already now uh, with 11 bills, which is quite early for Japan. Uh, while Wano is. Uh, a bit of a long way off from aging up. Yeah, so that's he's going to get a bash of Ashi out super quickly here. I, I, at least I assume that's what he will do with a build order like this. And he will be able to siege down shrines before Warren even gets a barracks up. Yeah, then again, you have several ways to play in Japan Miro, and I'm not sure if oh, he's going to sure. go more aggressive or... But there is there is going to be a window where he can he can be aggressive for sure and uh also he's going to start shrining before wano which means that not only he will get a better eco which also snowballs but he will also be able to to pick like the the hunts he wants to shrine uh because usually in japan mirror you kind of fight with your explorers to to like be in the best location and, and find the like shrine before your opponent and for sure jerry muno is going to shrine a lot before his opponent Look at the age of time difference. This is, I mean, I don't want to say it's GG, but it's its huge. Like, it's one minute almost of, of difference. The age of time, it's 
Uh, both players Three. aging with one villager on the wonder. That's fairly standard. It was at least when I played. <laughs> yeah, it is quite standard. Um, but maybe Wano is gonna add some villagers. I would like him to maybe add like three bills when he sees that Jerry Mano is up while he's himself not even halfway up. Uh, I think that's a point <laughs> where you just add some bills. Um, but we'll we'll see. Uh, Jerry Mono is a little bit ahead in the shrine count, of course, because he aged up earlier. Yeah, he was able uh, to transition villagers to wood earlier. Yeah. And uh, we have to see now what Jerry Mono wants to do. Is he gonna just go for the standard late Dabarak stuff, like you just ship 600 wood and you keep shrining, and then with your 600 wood you drop Taraxes, or is he gonna go a little bit more aggressive? It looks like he's gonna wait for the wood, because I don't see any military building going up yet. Yeah, no market yet either. Yeah, which is a, which is alright when you ship Kami, because you wanna prioritize making shrines, I oh, guess. For sure, for sure. But uh, market is now going up. And, uh, yeah, 600 wood on the floor. So, yeah, I expect him to go for Dabba Rex now. Yeah, this is, like, the most standard Japan build you can pull. Yeah. Do. Yeah. It's a good old-school Japanese late Dabba Rex build. And, uh... If you, eco, you follow it up with double four bills. Or if you yeah. want a bit more aggression, you can follow it up with, like, coin or maybe five ashes. Five ashes yeah. is probably not good in this matchup, though, this early. Mm. Unless you want to go like really aggressive, of course. I mean, five ashes would be a, a thing if you don't go for Kami and if you don't build your axes so late. Yeah, yeah you could <laughs> ship five ashes, but then you would have to change your build order so that it makes sense. Because, uh, yeah, if, if Jerry Muno was to ship five ashes now, it would be just terrible. So I expect, yeah, just like four wheels and stuff. Warno is actually getting the barracks a bit earlier before his 600 wood, and I assume it's because he realizes he's behind in Egypt and doesn't want to uh, fall too far behind. Right. So you already see that he's getting getting punished for his late age because he has to build his racks before 600 wood, which means he can build even less shrines. And if you look at the eco uh, recalculated economic population. Uh, it's quite one-sided. Obviously, Jerry Mino has already his four villagers in because he aged up before. So when Wano gets four villagers himself, uh, he will catch up a little bit. But still, like there's six shrines, six extra shrines for Jerry Mino, which is just big, or five now. And not even that. Uh, uh, Jerry Mino also has the second food upgrade and is now finishing civil servants, whereas Warno only now finished the first food upgrade and doesn't have civil servants. He's yeah, and he's focusing on though, which is nice. He's focusing on the gold upgrade, which is maybe not the most relevant at this point, but it's not a huge deal. Uh, but yeah, it's true. Obviously, just everything is so much faster for Jerry Muno because of his age up. Uh, so it's gonna be very hard for Wano to to win this game now, just because he's so far behind directly from the start. And uh, we'll have to see what he can what he can do to. Try to come back from this. Yeah, even if you look at the shipments, like his 600 wood is a minute later. His yeah, right. four villagers is almost a minute later. It's just everything is just later. Even losing his explorer now, so it will be much more difficult to re shrine. Yeah, I mean, Jerry Muno aged up at four, 4 minutes 18, which is like super early for Japan, while um, Wano aged up at 5 13, which is. I didn't see the, the start, but it's maybe a little bit late. But yeah, so it just makes like one minute difference in, in pretty much everything. So, yeah, also, uh, he is behind like 10 military. Yeah, well, obviously, just just everything's so one sided <laughs> now. Uh, yeah, it's a bit is a good treasure. Bit Ooh, the explorers might get picked off here, though. There we have yeah. the, um, the best arrows from the consulate. Oh, that's maybe something yeah. to look at. Oh, yeah, both players are still on Portuguese for now. Uh, Wano's gonna have to go back here. Uh, Jerry it's not, is cancelling relations, so he will swap to Japan Consulate very soon here. Uh, yeah, which I like, because... Um, yeah, but well, far ahead actually, I, I usually like to not get bestieros. I'm not a big Japan player, but my experience getting the clubs is very nice in this matchup because the clubs can siege down the shrines 
And uh, I, I usually do that instead of uh, getting bestiaros. Then again, of course, your bestiaros are quite useful. It, it depends on like what you want to do. If you want to apply more pressure on the shrines, then the clubs are obviously better. But the bestiaros actually do quite well in straight up fights mixed in with the ashes. Yeah, definitely. The, the clubs again, obviously also... aren't great at fighting musketeers. <laughs> yeah, I, I and it, it Warlock, also it, it also was depends... correct to get the bestiaros. Oh, your it is aging up, actually. Depends. It also depends on what unit you're doing. If you're going Ashy, Besteros probably make more sense. But if you're going Yumi, yes. uh, going for the clubs is very nice because it's also your anti-cab. Just in case your opponent, for some reason, makes some naggy early. Uh, anyway, Jerimino is aging already. And yeah, uh, Wano is true. nowhere near aging up. I don't think he wants to... We'll see. He's got a shipment on the way. We'll see if he goes for 600 coin. But he's making more ashes now, so I'd assume Wano doesn't want to to go to Fortress just yet. Well, I mean, look at the shipments. <laughs> he can't yet. Oh, shipping the Daimyo. Okay. Yeah. If he ships the Daimyo, there's no way he goes Fortress for quite a while. Yeah, I, I was I wasn't really expecting 600 coin because he was still spending his resources on on ashes. Uh, but yeah, the, the Daimyo is definitely very nice here. He will need to keep in mind that he has to ship the Cherry Orchards, probably next card. Uh, yeah, especially because he has his Shrines on coin, actually, I noticed. Shrines oh, on yeah. coin preserves your coin mines for very, very long, but it does make you have to ship the Orchards quite a bit earlier. Yeah, for sure. Um, oh, and as Warno, seeing this age up really hurts. Yeah, but then again, at least he's got a decent timing because he's yeah. he's pushing right right at the, the. Well, it would have been better a little bit earlier when Japan was. I mean, when Jerry Muno was not up yet, but it's still quite a nice timing. He's got the Daimyo, he's got more military. Uh, then again, I don't think it's gonna be enough because Jerry Muno is gonna be able to call the shipment. Yeah, and like just get a shipment, and he's upgrading his ashes. Uh, and the Daimyo is going forward, which is not what you want to do. Uh, so, yeah, I think Jeruno has... Yeah, he's won already. Yeah, that sentry pop on the Daimyo was pretty nice. I'm not sure if you saw it, but the Daimyo actually was on half HP before he even reached the front lines. Yeah, yeah, it, it was nice. Then again, if, if Wano just pulled it back instead of going forward, he wouldn't have yeah, lost it. I, I regardless mean, I of the had centuries, to fight with but... it there to have a chance of winning the fight. But it, it, it's obviously never ideal, right? You want your Daimyo to be safe. But if he had just pulled back, I think he still would have lost that fight. Yeah, I think, I think this game... Came in. This game was pretty much over since quite a while. Let's be <laughs> honest. I mean, after the start, it, it was just... like getting a big... It, it was already like it's, it's a, a big... A big advantage for Jerry Muno directly from the start, and he's also the favorite of the series, so it's very hard then for Warno to, to come back. Oh, Warno also forget, forgot to uh, swap his consulate over once he cancelled relations, so he was fighting without a consulate boost there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's not the biggest boost, it's only 5%, no, it, it's 5%, but it's, it's still nice. What? I think it's 5% damage? Yeah, it is 5%, but f for example, compared to the 10% HP from the British Consulate. It's yeah, not that okay. that great, but it's definitely better than nothing, yeah? Uh, I sure. think that just the Consulate doesn't change the Ashy math. You have to, like, also send the card for the math to change. Well, he's got the Daimyo, so I'm not sure. Oh, but yeah, yeah. Da Daimyo with Consulate also changes it, I think. It makes it one less shot. I'd have yeah, and anyway, I did that like two years ago. It's been too long. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, but I, I mean, Daimyo plus consulate also changes the math. Anyway, and anyway, even regardless of the of the bonus, you like he's got export. He could spend on clubs to, yeah, to clubs yeah. the shrines if he would go to Japanese. But yeah, anyway, that means Jerry Uno is gonna move to the round of uh, 32, I believe. I'm just quickly um, looking at, at the, the post game. Yeah, that, that 100 food, it's just such a massive treasure. I, I don't think you can overstate how big that was. Yeah, and also the 50 wood is... 50 wood is almost the same as 100 food. I mean, it's maybe worth like 80 or 90 food, something like that. Yeah, he had that as well, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so it's, it's just basically 200 food difference, and that's what we had. And 200 food is a lot, because it's not only 200 food, it's 200 food plus 
your opponent has to keep training villagers all this time. So it's basically like a 300 foot difference or something. Like you age up even later because you keep making bills before aging and it just snowballs really quickly, especially in a matchup where you make shrines in, in transition. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, the age up was just actually a minute later for Warno. Like, yeah, it minutes. was it was one minute, like 55 seconds, I think. So it was just... Uh, anyway.